Hi, and welcome to the first of the content videos in our Maths B Professional Development modules. Before we start getting too deeply in the curriculum, what I wanted to do is take a little bit of time just to look at mathematics. <coughs> mathematics is the subject we teach, and it's worth exploring well, what is this beast that we're involved with. So hopefully today you'll find this interesting, and it might provoke you to think a little bit and uh, consider what is this subject you're teaching in class. So first of all, before we start, um, what do you think mathematics is? How would you describe it? If someone asked you what it is, what would you say? Or could you define it in some way? Because it's interesting, all of us have sat in maths classes at school for at least 12 years, and we probably did four hours a week for 40 weeks a year, so we've done an awful lot of mathematics. And yet sometimes we struggle to describe it or define it any way. Maybe you want to pause this video now and have a think about it and jot down some ideas and see what you come up with. Historically, this is not an easy question to answer. And in fact, you'll see I put a reading in the uh, course uh, website by uh, Derek Holton, who's one of the leading maths, uh, mathematicians in the world based in Dunedin, New Zealand. Uh, he's originally from Melbourne. And uh, they asked him what mathematics is, and he gives his response there in a few short pages. So the next question I want to ask is, after you've thought about what mathematics is, the second question is, well, what, what do you like about maths? You have committed your professional career to teaching mathematics. There must be something about mathematics that has captured your attention that you have devoted your life to this task, or at least a few years till you find something else. Uh, you must enjoy it in some way. Do you spend a lot of time doing it? Do you ever do it just for fun? Or do you only do it at school? Um, if, this, if you don't find it particularly interesting or fascinating, is it, do you wonder why the students might not find it interesting either? When was the last time you just did some maths for fun? My suggestion is if you are in a maths department in a school, maybe sometimes instead of sitting down and talking about the range of uh, the vast array actually of things you have to talk about and do in a school, take half an hour and do a maths problem together and see what you come up with. It might help you understand the students learning a bit more too. Uh, these are some cards I stole from my son's uh, collection when he was younger uh, and it sort of reflects some of the common perceptions of mathematics in society. Uh, you can see this one, here's another one, Spiro Nergula. Let's do some maths problems. And so certainly we've got an image problem to deal with. And if anyone's going to be able to deal with that image, the, most, uh, the people at the forefront of that campaign are, are you as mathematics teachers. Uh, if you want any more information, just watch the Simpsons episodes. They'll have it in there. Um, if you're at a party and you're talking to someone, uh, if you want to get rid of them, just say, oh, I'm a maths teacher, and you'll probably, uh, they'll probably be gone in a shop. Uh, once I was in a maths conference and the opening address was given by someone from the business school. And they said, oh, it's very funny you've invited me to open this maths conference. They said, I, I can't even do maths. And I often wondered if I got invited to open the reading conference, if I stood up and said, oh, guess what? I can't read uh, how that would go down or how popular my answer would be amongst people. So anyway, it's worth considering what is maths and what do we like about it? Um, now, we have asked students what they think about mathematics, and here's some of the things they thought. First of all, they thought maths was about numbers. And this is kids, uh, high school kids, uh, even up to year 12, studying um, Math C right through to kids in year 8. The most common answer, what's maths about? It's about numbers. Which maybe is not uh, surprising then that some of them get confused when they hit algebra and they think it's all about letters all of a sudden. Um, they think you've either got a maths brain or you haven't. Now, in fact, there's very little evidence uh, that this is the case, but somehow this is a very common perception. Either you've got a maths brain and you can do maths, or you haven't got a maths brain and you can't. Incidentally, most of the kids will think that we have maths brains, which is why we can't understand them, because they don't have a maths brain. Th th there's no evidence at all for this claim. Uh, they also think that maths is very, very important. In fact, if you ask anyone in the population, almost all of them will say that maths is very important. But they'll also say that maths is dull and boring and it's irrelevant and of no use in real life. 
So some of the, these things are really interesting as they pervade in common society and amongst school kids, even though they have very little grounding uh, in truth or reality. And so these are some of the perceptions we as mathematics teachers have to confront and not just ignore but try and address. So I want to talk about two things uh, and this is based on a, a quite a famous book written a long time ago and it was called Mathematics, a Servant and Queen or something like that. <coughs> First of all, the idea of maths is, mathematics as queen, the queen of sciences. Mathematics is something that is beautiful, fascinating and interesting. Now if you ask any university mathematician, this is how they would describe the subject. They would use words like beauty, aesthetics, fascination, interest. And, and this is quite surprising to school children. Uh, I don't know if any of you have read this book, it's a bit old now. But certainly in there, there was a whole range of mathematical ideas. Fibonacci sequence and golden section. Probably some of the proverbial things we, we uh, turn to when we try and make mathematics seem more interesting. Uh, you may have read this book as well. And this contain, contains some mathematics in it. Uh, it's, it's a really good book if you want to read something. Um, I'm sure it's probably in the school library. Um, but it involves some probability theory. So, very briefly, if maths is the queen of science, <coughs> the prime of all sciences, what are the implications for our maths teaching? What about the curriculum? And do our students ever get the buzz of an excitement out of, interest, out of an interesting or mathematical idea or experience something in mathematics that just blows them away. It's certainly possible, I just don't know if it happens very often. Now the other thing is mathematics is servant from the title of the book. Mathematics is also exceptionally useful, probably as useful if not more useful than almost everything else kids do at school. And often we talk about this as being numeracy nowadays. But it, it worries us that um, if mathematics is both the servant and the queen of sciences, why is it that almost all people finish their schooling thinking maths is useless and boring and dull? How does this happen? Now the scary thing for me as a mathematics teacher is I had to realise that the kids learned this in my mathematics class. I never, taught, I never set out to teach them this, but this is something that they learned in my maths class. So why did they learn these things? How did they learn these things? Um, I just want to point out too that this just isn't sort of some hobby horse of uh, one mathematics teacher, but if you look at the Maths B syllabus on page 2, <coughs> and I'm sure you can't read that what's on the board now, but I just want to highlight a couple of phrases here. It says mathematics <coughs> has been invented and contributed to by scholars from a range of cultures around the world. So when we look at Maths B, the kids learn, does it reflect a range of cultures around the world or does it just look like a fairly... Uh, uh, set set of ideas that have been handed down from on high and have never changed. Uh, do they look like human inventions, something that someone has decided and made up, or are they just facts for life that we can't change? The second thing is, it says it's a unique and powerful way of viewing the world through investigating patterns and things like that. <coughs> this is in the syllabus. This is not something we've just made up, but this is how it is described in a way that we should be, the maths the kids should be experiencing at school. So are they viewing the world through investigating in patterns or are they just viewing some of the problems we can dredge up from a textbook? And the third thing is it's about a way of exploring thinking and exploring problems through observations, reflections and those sorts of things. So are the kids doing these things in the mathematics classrooms? These are the things that mathematicians do and I hope that these are some of the things that the kids would do in their maths class as well. Finally, if you look at the last part, it says maths is a creative activity. Now I can certainly say some of the answers I've seen from some of my students over the years were very creative. But um, I'm not sure that's what this is talking about here. So if maths is a creative activity, it means it involves some sort of development and creation from this part of the students. Someone else has created the mathematics they're learning now. Do they now just learn it as a pre-packaged group of ideas that they have to just accept as they are? Or do they have a chance to create it for themselves? And it says it involves invention, intuition and exploration. Have you ever had a chance to have much intuition in your maths class before? So with all these things, it's worth thinking, if this is in the maths syllabus, the prescription that we're supposed to follow, is this what's happening in our mathematics classes? 
Uh, I can't speak for you, but I know if you looked at my class for many years, I, I would have to say a lot of those things that weren't seen. So here's some reflective questions, and I've got these posted in the um, course website as well. What do you think mathematics is about? Is the subject you teach at school reflective of the nature of mathematics? What might your students say mathematics is about? Is it possible to have students see mathematics be as something that is beautiful, interesting or, and useful? Certainly these are not easy questions to answer and not easy to address when we've got time pressures and curriculum constraints <coughs> pardon me, in the school that make it difficult. But I hope that these prompts will stay with us as we go through the course and we think about what it is this subject we're teaching. And as we head off to try and develop our uh, competency and confidence in teaching Maths B, I hope it becomes a subject that is reflecting the broader nature of mathematics and not just some uh, malnutritioned idea that we've seemed to have inherited from over the years. So all the best as you think about these things and I will catch up with you soon. Thank you. Bye.